Hey guys, we're on Lapis Trade. I'm excited. Four. So probably gonna previously in the next episode saying. Previously on Life is Strange. Called it. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. I can yeah, I like love said, it's the audio. Time to start the thing, search for clues. With the mouth, but... Welcome to my domain. Let's guess, find like, what we want. She's the only just previously Max, fired, you better come check out that. these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Yeah, nice little... Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Yeah, the audio is really desync. Like, I don't want to skip it since the audio is not showing, but... Like... Ah, oh, they don't like to the story of the game that you play a story to come to the game. We know, choose wisely. I'm choosing. I'm choosing the best. I'm, I'm the best at making choices. Let's jump in. Where do we start off? Uh, that's like a turtle. Oh, that's a crab. I think that's a crab. Crab. Square Enix, Square Enix, the guys who made Final Fantasy, and then we're like, we're gonna do a story-driven game with the goal of Super Palace. Yeah, totally makes sense. When you make games like Final Fantasy, this is the next like big game. You were like, yo, me Final Fucking Fantasy. Now we're gonna do this shit. Sorry, it's my it's a squeaky tweak. Squeaky. Can't do much about that. But... Look at all the beach whales, the beach whales, that does not look right. Okay. Life is strange, episode 4, Dark Room. Technically that could be the next one, I don't know how much of the Dark Room we get to see in this room. I probably barely any, that's probably where this episode is going to end, I think. So, probably won't see that much of it, but... Is that saying something? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Don't blame William. It's not his fault. Talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Hey, Mr. Girl. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Ooh, it's not like I'm still on it might be, you think. Don't say that. It might be. I mean, it is. It is kind of. So I wouldn't say you think. No. Don't say that. I don't think that'd be a nice thing. It might be, but... I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's, it's that the, it's the thing with like, what do I own like, this game is like, I'll get in the talk a lot into, so I'm sorry if I'm just still like watching it, because I kind of learned a lot of things. But, um, I feel like Chloe just gets shit on in this game. Just in general, like, whatever you do, for the most part, you get shit on. I like the few instances where he doesn't, but... Like, oh yeah, you saved your dad, but then he got in the car accident, I'm like, ah, that's fucking... Ah. Like, ah, something had to happen to this person somehow, in some way, it's like... Okay, that's... Oh, we're gonna be at her place. I think I know what's gonna come up here eventually. I think it's gonna come to you. I'm right. Yep. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. 
Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. There's Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and sauce. We hope to see you smiling face soon. Please be well. My name is Vanessa calls you. Okay, that's nice. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Speaking of you, dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. You know that I'm here for you if you need anything. Hope you feel better and hope to see you again, XSO Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. So we just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well. Because I know your life is so different now. I don't want that to get in the way of your our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around me, but that will change soon. Hope you are well. Love that. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, I want to check the, uh, duty boom. Whoa, so we got things from every, everybody. Oh, because they did that, you know that you're still a little girl. Check your account down below once. Yeah, I think you like that to the point. And Victoria, what the fuck? Mac, you busy girl, avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. Never, I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. T O T. Okay, drama stop. You help me by caring. You cry, by the way. I could I kill a bud from the you know who FYI. Hey save me a ball. Got a balance to already come by my room tonight. What a killer. Are you talking about drugs? I don't think I can naze it, oh god. Yo yo Mac, you aunt in the dark room developing sauce for the contest. Sweet. So no two words for you. Not yet, I'll see you guys later though. Peace out. Please have Nathan and her in this universe and Victoria. Victoria's not that bad, but Nathan sounds like he's actually kind of nice in this universe. Like, actually. It's like, it's weird. Okay, what does mom have to say? We gotta go for the happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 years since you were brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your, some of your bills. Are you there? Just give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed. We will use their phones. You have to get super rude and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said that I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only bought phone, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. Uh, I have to go. Don't put, don't pout. Love you. Hey honey, I hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't join it either, mom. Okay, who else we got? Chloe! You're gonna be looking. Hello, Mac. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use the number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe, Max here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know it's going to Blackwell Academy soon. Hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's awesome. You will. Best of. Oh, we can hang again. So, yes, this is still my number. Cool. We got a buttload of homework from. We'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. See you soon. Alyssa. 
Hey Max, it's the same that you hang out with those people. I thought you would defend. What's up? Thirty for the TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you. I swear. Don't do it again. Okay. Why the? That feels like I'm the evil one. Anyway, else seems nice. Uh, Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. You, I would say no, but for powers. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The great, I think that's the rule we've all learned if you... Snow globes are taking over. Wait, what's the other one then? What's that one? Oh, the snow dough. Oh, that's, that's, oh, we went to... I guess not everything changed. <laughs> I'm just doing the Pacific one. Okay, makes sense. I like both of them. Okay. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. And we gotta check on the people. We don't have Chloe on this yet, because we just have her. Pictures! It looks like a window, something sticking out of it. I'm assuming that window might be here. I'm not sure. We'll have to check. <coughs> and I don't know how these pictures are gonna save. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I feel like there's something here because it's going to take that close. Uh, I'm not really uh, worried about those. Uh, but at least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Black at but she can't stage dive anymore. Club. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Welcome to the hot wheel chat room. So you say, do you not give any personal information to any person? You are responsible for knowing the chat room rules. So what are you doing? Wait, taking with talking with you? Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to bring on quantum leap. Oh my god, I love Scott. Rock and rules. So do you. Hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're being on Bluffy. You better. Hello? Listen. Okay, let's get that water because I probably stopped long enough. Let's get me up there. <coughs> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Uh, what do you remember? You're right, it seems like yesterday. What do you remember? Let's not do that, let's see, you're right. Uh, seems like yesterday. I like that. I don't think to I me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and... Destroying the kitchen. Hey, oh my god. I love that. We covered that everything in flour. Even my parents. I love that. That was so hilarious. That was, was awesome. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Hey, loved you. Are you okay? Are you lonely? They love, they love you. I'm trying to go... I'm trying to be the nicest way because I don't think... They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, 
The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. Can they pay? Uh, first, get rid of. I don't need your computer. Uh, I bet. Can they pay? I don't. Uh, I bet. I bet. Like, do I bet? I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. I thought the Blade Runner was a good choice, so. What's that? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Uh, so Nothing but medical supplies. If you're walking with them, can you get the after? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Yeah, you kind of... Okay, we can do this. I'm looking around making something else. I know it's gonna be over here. Aha, uh -huh. here's the DVD. We can destroy it. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Pie power. I'm gonna look around because I feel like I'm gonna miss them if I don't. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. You took the top one again? Wow, sir. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Okay, we gotta read this, because it seems like... Blackwell Academy, the 8th of August, 2011. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as soon as I am, some celebration of numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class disability, except Blackwell prides itself on making such sure dual responsibility to receive full compensation under the American Americans with Disability Act. However, given the, the campus and the budget have been, uh, Constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet had to go to modern renovations this day to fill the needs of your daughter and her regarded condition. However, sadly, we recent developments, funder cuts in education. It will take many more fundraisers to finally update Black Academy. The day will come. Though we have without doubt an amazing student with great potential, fight her handicaps, and I believe she would fit find a more fitting reward environment in the H. W. Medical Institution in Boston. They have a good legacy of disability grants, and I know that Chloe would 
Let's see how usual academic leadership and her moral comfortable surroundings with the outstanding GPA. There is no doubt that Murphy would welcome Chloe to open hall. I hope you will sincerely consider this. Just as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend the school that can catch color to her many needs in the same spirit. I've also enclosed brochures for the potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact me also. I mean, I do think the tools should somewhat be, you know, we have some type of stuff for it, some type for a person with disabilities. But, but, but I think one, Chloe is the only person who has that. She has a special case. Like, she seems like she needs a lot. So, I'm just saying, like, it's kind of, a school can't just, I don't know, it's just, I'm not completely against saying he's a jerk, but it's like, yeah, a little. He's a little bit jerk. And that was, it was like, does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? They said there's a window thing. She can't even feel the grass now. I don't figure out what this window thing is. They said there's a window thing. You know, figure it out. I'm a guy who likes to fucking do shit. Max is so cool that you're here again. Now we have a movie night. I wonder if that the actual sound could play right now. If it did, I'd be like, I guess with a sound, she would be like, actually just a sound. And then cut it off right there, so I'd cool that. Yes. Game. What the hell? A game.